verge of potentially passing a kidney stone. Okay. Which is not fun. Okay. Not fun. Uh, and according to Louise Hay, I know they are little pellets of anger. Ooh. So I've had some anger stuff going on pretty intense lately. So it's like, oh yeah, of course, kidney stone. So I just like some help in moving through, letting go of the anger. Um, you know, I'm focusing on unconditional love and forgiveness, but I get these spikes of like intensity as far as anger and stuff. Okay. And I know it's triggering some stuff in my past. So please help. Who are you angry with? Sorry? Who are you angry with? Now, like a fr now a friend before my father. So it's all kind of jumbled into one. Okay. So why were you angry with your father? Um, why was I angry with my father? Because at the time, I perceived that um, he kept on doing stuff that was hurting me. Mm -hmm. I kind of kept feeling like I got, I was getting kicked in the gut. So it got to the point which, uh, where I just had to remove myself from all contact in that relationship. Mm -hmm. um, I, I later found out that he, I, he actually had a medical diagnosis of narcissism mm -hmm. and so sociopathy, mm -hmm. being a sociopath. So he was really unaware and unaffected how his actions affected other people. Okay. So intellectually, I kind of got, okay, this, this isn't specifically about me. Nonetheless, the anger and the hurt, whatever is there as a child, right? Yeah. So... Uh, I recently had something happen with a friend and all of a sudden I got that same little twinge of getting kicked over and over and over again. Yep. So I just, I'd like to clear them both simultaneously and just dissolve this little <laughs> this stone that's kind of on its way down. Okay. So do you feel guilty for being angry with your father when he had that condition? No. It's not, it is, that's mostly true, but there's a little bit in there. So, oof, yeah. So, are you willing to destroy any of the guilt you feel for being angry at your father when he couldn't help himself? Yes. How often do you get people in your life kicking you around like that? Um, I would say over the last couple of years, I've had a couple of business incidents where I've allowed it. I kind of go like, well, the, co the, the, the potential gain outweighs the cost to get kicked around. And I kind of got to the point where it's like, screw that. That's like, it's not worth it. I'm out of here. So I defended some of the business relationships because of that. Okay. So are you willing to step out of the belief that you need to allow yourself to get kicked around if you'll get something else out of it? Yes. <coughs> I've actually, over the last month, have been really, uh, prior to this happening, working on my self-respect and self-love and so. Um, honoring and stuff. So. so how comfortable do you feel when you get into full self-love and self-honoring? It feels good, you know. I've tried it before and it felt off, but over the, uh, the last month, it, it's actually felt really good. It's felt very grounding. It's felt very freeing. And I feel like I'm walking taller and straighter in my, like my 
spine is straighter. Uh -huh. And when you're in that space and then someone kicks you, how does that feel? Um, I'm trying to be less emotionally attached to it. Mm -hmm. like I'm trying to be more detached to it and just seeing, um, you know, both sides of, you know, what's, when someone kicks me, what's their stuff that's happening, what's my stuff that's happening, what's the stuff that we've got together that's happening, and try to take responsibility for my stuff. And that's great. But how does it feel? It feels good. It feels honoring and respectful to, to me and the other person. So when someone kicks you, it feels good. Oh, sorry. I didn't understand the question. No, not good. <laughs> not good. You know, um, you know, for them, sometimes I can just take it as um, neutral and just go, oh, that didn't feel good. Yeah. And then just recently it was really like intensely deep. So this could be a weird question. Do you need people to kick you when you when you start to feel really good? No. Well, that's, that's not coming up as true. Okay, no, I, my mind just kind of went to, oh, is that a test? Like, how good are, you, how stable are you in feeling good? Mm -hmm. So I would rather just be stable and feeling good and not need to get kicked. <laughs> so. <laughs> So are you willing to step out of the story that whenever you start to feel good and empowered, you need to test it? Yes. <laughs> wow. A little more energy than I expected. Because I kind of went to all parts of my life, I think. Mm -hmm. Personal, business, family, whatever. It's like, okay, just stop with the testing. Okay. All right, so tests are over now. Yay. Yay. <laughs> We're out of high school. Now we've got to go into the real world. Pardon? We're out of high school and we've got to go into the real world now. Tests are over. <laughs> I guess, yeah. But nothing real can fun. All right. And what would happen if life went really smoothly now? How would that feel? It would feel great. And I and my mind went to, okay, so what's the next challenge? It's yeah. Like, you, I asked that and your energy dipped so much when I asked that question. I was like, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's like, okay, finish with that challenge, bring the next one on, as opposed to just being in um, um, uh, receptive. So to are, you, are you willing to destroy the belief that you constantly need challenges? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, now I just went to, but what's life for if it's not for to get over challenges? Oh. It would be boring. Okay. First of all, we have to get rid of the constant challenges. Second, okay. are you willing to destroy the belief that challenges always have to feel heavy and hurtful and obtrusive? Yes. <laughs> what if when it comes to challenges, instead of, oh, this just hit me and now how do I get through it? The challenges are, hey, what if I try to do this? So instead of something knocking you down and you have to come back up, what if the challenge is, how do I just keep getting higher? Sorry, say that last part again. What, what if the challenge is, how, how do I just keep getting higher? How do I keep getting to the new level? What if those are the challenges instead of the regular ones people are used to? It's like, oh my God, that's an unexpected bill. Oh, this person treated me like crap. Mm -hmm. you know, let's, let's be done with those challenges and just go on to the challenges that enhance your life. Yes, please. I would like that. Okay. <laughs> okay, how does that feel? 
Um, it feels better, and I still have that little poke weight on the side of my kidney that's like, hey, you know, I still got that little bucket of anger just hanging out. So what would happen if you let go of that anger? Who, who would not suffer or be properly punished if you let go of that anger? I was just going to say that it kind of feels like letting the other person off the hook. Yeah. Of course, I'm hurting myself, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Can we just clear that, please? Okay. So are you willing to destroy the belief that if you let go of the anger, the, pers the person or people you're angry with will get off, will be let off the hook and not be punished? The way they should be. Yes. <coughs> and I'm not a <coughs> or vindictive person, and I rarely go to use me to be punished. Mm -hmm. Like that's not cool. Because they're having their, I'm sure they're having their own uh, learnings from the situation, right? Or not. Or not. Or not. This is the thing is you, you've got to be okay that these people may have learned or they may not have learned. They may get punished. They may never get punished, but it's not about them. It's about you. Correct. So how do I move through having to punish myself or, or, or make myself suffer through that? So are you willing to destroy the belief that the more you suffer the worse they'll feel about what they've done. Yeah, that just sounds like a martyr. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> it's true because I've been throwing daggers and I'm not, I am like, so far away from recognizing myself in that respect, it's like I need to step away because I don't know who this crazy woman is. <laughs> okay, how you doing? Sorry? How you doing? I'm intellectually there, but I don't think I'm there emotionally. I think my heart is like not move. No. There. Okay. Cool. Mark's going to help push that, dissolve that out for you. Okay? Okay. Offline or how do we do we'll it? We'll just be doing it in the energy right now. You guys can do a private chat on the side there. Okay. Uh, but he can just work on the energy straight too and you can see how you feel in a little bit. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, this is Shiraz. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. And you can check out upcoming events at www.energeticmagic.com. And remember, be well, be aware, and be magical.